located on the third floor in my home office, which is where I'm recording this right now. So in terms of getting a really strong signal on the second floor, and more specifically on the first floor or outside the backyard, I wanted something to extend that range. So I'm more specifically going to be reviewing this device as a range extender or a range booster. Now it can be used as a primary router, uh, but I wouldn't recommend that. If you're more tech savvy, if you do a lot of uh, gaming, if you um, do a lot of like HD streaming for like movies and television through Roku, Hulu Plus, Netflix, um, this wouldn't necessarily be the device that I would use as your primary router. Um, but if you are extending the signal, then um, that's a different story. So if you have somebody in your family who's le less, excuse me, tech savvy, um, I'm thinking of my mother in this particular case, this would be a perfect device because the setup is extremely easy. Like I said, it's a touchscreen device, uh, which I'll turn on in just a moment here. So in terms of just simply inputting your password, connecting to your network, um, it's about as easy as it gets. You don't have to actually connect it to your computer or go through any hardcore settings. This is um, kind of... Uh, uh, idiot proof in terms of setting up a wireless router um, but as a range extender um, that's what I'm going to get to in this particular video now in terms of wireless connectivity you are looking at a uh, primarily an N router but it is backwards compatible uh, for B and G devices you're looking at 300 megabits per second MIMO technology you can connect up to 50 users at a time uh, on the device but like I said previously, in terms of like a primary router, the reason why I wouldn't recommend it is because in terms of the network data transfer rate, it is a 2.4 gigahertz device. Uh, it, it does not support dual band. And for a lot of people who do a lot of gaming, online gaming specifically, myself included, as well as streaming like HD movies and so forth, um, that's not exactly on the top of your wish list in terms of routers. Uh, there are other dual band routers that you can get out there um, that would do a much better job. Now this device originally retailed for about $99.99. Uh, I I picked it up for $79.99 on um, Amazon, and currently at the time of me recording this video, it is still at that price. Uh, you are looking at a touchscreen here, which is about 2.8 inches, um, 320 by 240 resolution, which isn't that important, but there are some really cool beta features in here in terms of a clock and weather uh, that some people will find interesting. Now, a tour of the device is actually quite small. Uh, it's plastic, uh, so it's very tiny, so it almost kind of looks like a, a conversation piece, actually, if you have it downstairs and the screen is lit up, people who've come over have asked, what is that? Um, because it can, it's kind of diminutive in size. You can kind of tuck it away on a bookshelf, uh, hide it underneath your, or beneath your entertainment system, but you do have one WAN port as well as two LAN ports. Um, so there's not a lot of connections here, uh, which doesn't really matter to me because I'm using it as a um, uh, range extender. Uh, but if you want to use it as a Wi-Fi bridge, that's actually quite handy. So, for instance, I'm not sure what console you'd be using that don't have that doesn't have Wi-Fi connected uh, inside of it or capability within it. But you could actually hardwire, let's say, your PlayStation 4 and your Xbox 360 or your Roku into this device, connect it to your wireless network, and get kind of a stronger signal for those particular devices, which is kind of the way that I'm using it. But I'm not using it specifically as a Wi-Fi bridge. I'm again using it as an extender, which I'll get into um, in a little bit. And beyond that that's pretty much it there's no other bells and whistles uh, again very very small runs pretty cool a bit of a uh, fingerprint magnet as a matter of fact uh, but what I'm going to do in the rest of the video is actually just kind of show you the screen and show you some of the features that are built into the device um, the range itself is anywhere between 100 to 300 feet so it's not substantial that's why again I recommend it as a uh, range extender as opposed to your primary um, router but like I said if you have somebody in your family who's not technically proficient and they need kind of an idiot proof way to set up a wireless network in their home or if you're a college student student who lives like in a one bedroom apartment and you just want you know basic uh, Wi-Fi connectivity to be able to you know surf um, you know the internet and post duck faces to Facebook I don't know what you do with your time uh, then this would be a pretty decent device to do that and then the processor that's built inside is a 384 megahertz uh, um, processor um, security is pretty decent um, as well you have WP WPA and WPA2 uh, so what I'm gonna do next is actually plug the device in but I won't make you make you guys sit through that and when we come back I'll walk you through uh, the touchscreen now also I'm recording this video in slightly lower light conditions that I normally do uh, because of that screen and my camera wanting to constantly justify the light from the screen uh, so hopefully that will um, you know transfer well in terms of um, when the screen is on so you guys can actually see uh, the different options that are available so um, be right back all right, so when the screen is turned on, you're greeted to this nice display, uh, internet settings, security, wireless, range extender status. Now, I've already set this up for my network, and forgive 
the fact that I'm shaking around a little bit here, I'll drop it down, uh, but it won't make the screen look as clear. Um, but I've already configured this for my network. Obviously, when you first turn it on, I'll ask you for your primary language, where you're located, uh, and walk you through the setup process. Like I said, it's very, very idiot-proof, um, but in terms of the options that you have here, when it first comes up, you would just simply hit Range Extender um, for how I'm primarily using it, and then you would just simply type in your Wi-Fi password, and that's it. It's connected. And then from there, you can connect it to other devices that you have uh, in your house. Now, the primary uh, way that I was using it is actually, like I said, I'm in a three-story house. And so on the second floor, I got a pretty decent signal, nothing to complain about. Uh, but on the first floor, I got next to no signal. Uh, and if I was outside in the backyard, you know, doing yard work or something like that, I wasn't really getting a very good Wi-Fi signal. Uh, and so I wanted something to kind of extend that range. And so this is actually placed on the second floor uh, near the living room. And what I have is I went ahead and uh, connected my Xbox 360 to it. I connected my PlayStation 3 to it. I connected uh, my Roku um, streamer to it as well. And uh, so that has a nice strong signal. Now, before I connected this, uh, my signal strength was probably like around 70 something, 80%. Um, the, the walls that I have here in, in DC are, are kind of thick, and so Wi Fi signals don't necessarily pass through them as well as I did when I lived in Florida. And so that's another reason why I wanted to get this extender. And you have other options here, forgive my finger in there, but there's different wizards adding uh, additional devices, web administrator, software updates. It does automatic software updates in the background, uh, but you can manually push for those updates. Mine came pre installed with the most recent update, which was nice. Um, system long statistics support etc and then you can also get into like beta options like the time so it'll display on the screen again if it's just sitting there in your living room and the screen is on it's kind of a conversation piece people ask what that cool little piece of technology is um, but also you know hitting the weather uh, will come up as well so I'm gonna go ahead and stop one of my fat fingers in your face and get back to the primary screen um, but like I said, I've connected um, devices that are pretty much staying in one place, my you know gaming consoles and my Roku, and then on my tablets, because we have like three different tablets in the house and multiple uh, smartphones. I've got my Nexus, my Nexus 10, we have an iPad, uh, Kindle Fire, etc. Uh, so those, depending upon what I'm doing, if I want a stronger signal, I just simply saved it in all of those devices, and then I would just simply go into my Wi-Fi settings and switch me in between either the Almon uh, setting or from my primary uh, Wi-Fi. Now, when you first set it up, it will add a little addendum to the end of your Wi-Fi network. Now, my, my Wi-Fi network is uh, appropriately named Stimulated Boredom. And so when I hook this up, it actually created a network called Stimulated Boredom underscore Almond. Now, you can change that name if you want to. I just simply left it as it was. Um, and you would just simply enter the exact same Wi-Fi password that you normally use. So it does not necessarily extend the range in the sense that as you're passing from room to room, your devices automatically know which one to connect to. It's not actually the same network network you are kind of taking the signal from your original network and then kind of blasting it out and excuse me extending it on the almond so that's where it can be kind of a pain uh, in that you do have to manually switch to which Wi-Fi network you want to use. That's why it's perfect for how I'm using it. Because uh, like I said, I've got my gaming consoles and other streaming devices that are pretty much staying put in my living room um, that are consistently connected to this and getting a much stronger signal than they were getting from my, my main router, which is uh, on the top floor of the house. And then on the first floor, if I'm outside doing something, then I would just switch on my phone over to the Almond network and get a stronger signal outside so I can you know listen to Spotify. Spotify or podcasts and um, things like that on the device. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much else to get into. There are more security features that you can get into uh, because I'm not using it as a primary router in my house. It is just being used as an extender. A lot of these options are not available to me. So you'll see this options only available in router mode. Uh, same thing, I think, for status that comes up. Um, let me see for wireless. Oh, nope. I don't want to show my password, so I'll go ahead and back that up a little bit. Uh, you can get into, let's say, for instance, like the weather. I'm in um, Chantilly, Virginia right now. So uh, from there, and you can have that displaying at all times. Uh, it's in beta, so it doesn't necessarily um, update itself, um, but it does find your location on its own. And I'm sure there'll be other features that come out later on in the future. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's a it's a pretty good device uh, for $80. Uh, again, for what I'm using it for. Now, if you're going to be using it for gaming, you're looking to extend your signal uh, for HD streaming and gaming. There's other more powerful dual band, um, you know, wireless extenders and signal extenders that you can get. Netgear has some pretty decent ones um, that I would recommend if you're going to be doing that. But if you're just looking to kind of boost your signal um, elsewhere in your house, I would recommend it. It's a it's a good device. 
device. Again, it can be used as a Wi-Fi bridge, as I mentioned previously. Um, so that's pretty handy. And overall, um, I give it a pretty solid recommendation. Uh, but like I said earlier in the video, um, not necessarily for the more tech savvy. Uh, I do game on this. I've had no problem with it whatsoever. I do watch like HD videos through like um, Xbox uh, movies. I've had zero problem getting 1080p um, without the signal dropping out. So I don't want people to think that that's the concern. But we have a lot of devices that are connected to the Wi-Fi in this house. And so um, if I were looking as like a primary router, I would get something more powerful as an extender. I think this fits the uh, quite nicely. Other than that, I'm not really sure what else I can mention. I am on Verizon Fios. Um, so those routers that they provide to you, it's kind of an all-in-one router modem. You can connect, of course, your own router um, to that. Uh, but they're not dual band anyway. So the fact that this is a single band 2.4 gigahertz um, router doesn't really bother me uh, because the Fios one is not dual band. It doesn't support dual band anyway. Uh, but a lot of people use third party. I used to, but the Fios one is quite decent uh, for my needs. And so I just kind of left it as it is. Um, beyond that, I'd say on average, uh, you know, speed that I'm getting, depending upon the device I'm on, let's say, for instance, if I'm on my, on my Nexus 10, I'm generally averaging between 100 to 200 megabits per second. If I'm on my Nexus uh, cell phone, I'm probably getting anywhere between 65 to 125 megabits per second. Uh, my other devices, I haven't had a chance uh, to check. And I'm trying to keep you guys from being bored in terms of just looking at my hand moving around so you can kind of see the the screen a little bit. I'm doing a terrible job, actually. <laughs> um, but anyway, the, the major pros are it's extremely easy to set up. Um, so if you're just looking to set up a, a quick and easy Wi-Fi network in your house, um, that's perfect. And like I said, repeatedly, as a Wi-Fi extender, I think it's um, you know a great option for only $80. So anyway, if you have any more questions, uh, you can certainly email me at Dana at StimulatedBoredom.com, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. But in here, we have the just a quick overview and review Overview and review, you know what I'm trying to say, of the Securify Almond, the world's first touchscreen wireless N router, uh, range extender, range booster, and Wi-Fi bridge. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.